What's going on everyone? Um, Steve here from Burke Family 54 Comics. Uh, in today's video, we're going to rearrange this comic book room again. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start taking off some of the stuff off of the top here, get it out of the way. Uh, we're gonna move the second shelf down uh, about two inches. We're gonna put a third shelf up right above it so I can have three shelves of comic books. Then we're gonna put three more right next to it over here so we can display 30 graded comic books at a time. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are part of the way there. Uh, we have all the stuff off the top. I got all my action figures out of the way, uh, whether they're on top here or they're on the floor or front. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take off all the slabs of, off of here and we're going to move the shelf down. Let's go! Okay, uh, we were able to get the shelves on there. They're not exactly, you know, the, the same distance in between, but close enough, close enough. And uh, I'm happy with it. So now what we gotta do is we gotta put three more shelves over here and then we'll be done. So uh, let's go. Okay, uh, we are done with the shelves. Um, I was able to move the shelf just like a quarter of an inch um, to make it work. And what I figured out is that the shelves, these two shelves that I have, those are my original ones. They are slightly different than the new ones that I got, even though they are the same number that I got from Amazon. They're slightly different from the edging to where the screws go to just a few things, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. They're off by like maybe like just a touch, as you can see, like like right there. I mean, there's really nothing I can do about that. I, I did my best. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw up some slabs up there and uh, see how it looks. Let's go. Okay, uh, we have the wall pretty much done and it looks pretty freaking awesome. Um, you, I remember, obviously, I have all these keys in my collection, but to see them all on the wall at one time is, is pretty special. We have a whole Power Rangers um, row, a whole Batman row, which I almost went with a couple Marvel keys in there because I have a couple Marvel keys that I think would look great up there. But I wanted to make sure I have all Batman keys in one row because I'm a big Batman fan. Then we got some Teen Titans and Flash keys, and then some Spider-Man keys. And I'll tell you what, uh, this looks pretty great. We're almost done. I got to clean up right here, put some of my boxes back at some point. I'll clean up this area over here, get rid of that, move this over, and ha add a couple more cubicles on each side. Uh, but for phase one, I guess maybe even phase two of rearranging the comic book room, I am pretty stoked uh, about where I'm at. We're almost done, guys. Let's go. All right, we are done. Um, I got all my stuff back over here. And again, at some point, this will go over to the middle. This stuff will be gone. I'm, I'm still gonna have some K-8 stuff in here somewhere, but it'll be off camera. I need to organize our stuff. This is kind of like a storage area over here, but at some point, this will move over. I'll have a couple more cubicles on each side. And this, uh, my, my desk, uh, that you guys aren't really get to see very much, will be in the middle so you can see my entire comic book wall. Man, that looks impressive, at least for me. Like I never thought six years ago when I started collecting comic books that I would have all the keys that I have here, all the Power Ranger books. I mean, this entire row, all 9.8s. I never thought I would get either one of these at all. This is a one of 50 Green Ranger, one of 100 White Ranger and have them in 9.8s along with the rest of the team, all on 9.8s as well. And that's the San Diego Comic Con exclusive for number five, also to 9.8, and that's the number nine, uh, second print of 9.8, first um, 
Lord Draken, and then that's Power Rangers Team and T number one, second printing, one of 10, also a 9.8. Like that entire row to be 9.8 is pretty awesome for me. We have some Batman keys up there as well. I mean, I am so happy. Um, I could not be happier, could not be, could not feel more blessed um, to have the comics that I have. Um, this over here looks pretty cool as well. It's kind of hard because at some point, these guys, I would like to have my action figures next to my desk because um, I have to get into these boxes, right? Like I got to get, get into them. I can't keep stacking stuff on top of them if I want to get into them. So I would like to put those in a separate area. I did put one more slab or two more slabs, really. My Raphael number one, first Casey Jones signed and sketched by Kevin Eastman. Then you know I had to have my Mighty Morphin number four, Burke Fam edition signed by me. Sorry for the glare. Um, Burke Family 54 Comics exclusive, signed by me, right over there, hashtag Burke Fam. You know I had to have that on display. Um, I have my good friend, Austin LeMay. He sent me some art um, that he signed as well, sent to CGC. You gotta display that on camera, but I also wanted to put my exclusive up there as well. Um, and I got some more Power Ranger stuff up here too. You guys have seen all that before um, as well, and some more other stuff over there. But man, I'll tell you what, um, I'm very happy. Very, very, very happy with where I'm at. Um, this looks awesome. And I, pro I will probably, I I've heard nothing but negative things about my <laughs> light up here, um, how bad it looks. I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll end up putting some rope lights underneath in between. Uh, so you can see those a little bit better. Maybe even put some like glow lights as well, kind of like Gem Mint Collectibles does. Um, so you can see that and make sure it looks a little bit better. But I'll tell you what, I am very, very, very happy with where I'm at. Uh, hey, look, a CBCS slab. <laughs> <laughs> there is one up there. <laughs> oh shit, I, I couldn't be happier with where I'm at. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of today's video. What do you guys think of uh, my new comic wall, all of that. I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. And as always, go cats. Cowabunga, it's Orphan time. Today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. Protect your comic book investment for as little as $12 by using Eric from comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. He can press any grade or tier of book and make sure you use my promo code Burke 54 to get free shipping back to you on your first order. Again, today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram.